Good morning guys, my name is Rudy and uh, I am back. I am back up here. So, you can look at beautiful Miami in the morning on board the Carnival Conquest. I'll take you guys on a quick tour while it's still very early. We're just now getting into port. Set back in Miami and we'll go over some stuff of things I learned on the cruise ship. Really good. This is good. Same good time. So we're on board uh, the upper deck here. This right here in the front end, this is the Serenity. You get a nice little spot out here. The very, very front of the ship. There's another one up here. Just kind of give you a little walkthrough. See who's awake this morning. I hadn't had my breakfast yet. Said, this is the Cardinal Conquest. And down here in the lower deck, you can also see it's got these cute little bungo things out here. I'll show you that too. Out here, of course, is the water slide. And this is the part that most everybody spends a lot of their time on. Down here by the pool. Trying to get in the back of the ship here. First day I kind of couldn't. So one thing that's kind of cool about this thing is uh, it's at Serenity where we were. It's like a adults only. So you gotta be over 21 to be here, and it's actually kind of nice. A little section off the ship, part of the ship, or, or uh, without kids and things. And let's see, let's go down there. this is a good spot to talk about some of the stuff that I learned I'm gonna kind of pan around and then we can uh, talk about kind of what I had on my list first thing I like about taking cruises like this is I really love the fact that you can actually unplug I chose not to have like an internet plan that's an extra thing on board and I think it's kind of good my phone is going crazy right now as it's updating and getting all my calls and messages and texts and things like that for the last few days like I said, I think it's great being unplugged for a little while. I really don't think that hurts at all. Let's see. So, first thing I would do is I would definitely make sure that I'm on board. And this applies to Carnival and on most of the other ships. As you come on board, first thing you'll be doing is you're going to be uh, eating your uh, welcome food, a little bit of lunch. And I would definitely recommend that you wear a uh, swimsuit underneath your clothes. So that you can actually enjoy the swimming pool or the tub out there and just do a little r, &R before uh, before you get started another thing i would recommend is i'd recommend that you bring your little lanyard with it you get something like this and this little card and this little card's got your room number gonna tell you where to meet um, make sure you pack some sunscreen you will need it because you're gonna be spending a lot of time down here a lot of people seem like the front part of the ship the most plan your stuff plan your excursions uh, look on the internet site figure out what's available read upon them see what's available and get on explore you know one too that's cool because uh, you can stop off at your destinations and just hang out on the ship there's always stuff to do on the ship there's excursions on the ship itself to do things like behind the scenes 
uh, for a lot of the entertainment here. You can even look at the bridge. All that good stuff is available for you. Uh, that is extra. They hang usually around a couple of hundred bucks. I'm oh, sorry, uh, up to about 150 bucks. Let's see here. Uh, so it is May. I took this cruise out here and I thought it was pretty warm. Uh, the last cruise I took was on MSC and it was around March. March and April I thought it was a little cooler. Uh, one day it was brutally hot. Either way, back to your sunscreen. So, the other thing you can look at. Um, do you want to wear... Uh, when you're getting a room, do you want a room that's got a balcony? Do you want a room that has a view? Or do you want an interior room? So, first time I went, I had an open window where I could see outside. Second time, I chose to get a room inside the ship. Uh, with no windows so it's got a nice light switch in there and uh with all the lights off it's pitch black so you do have to rely on your alarm clock just to make sure that you're actually up and running or you could probably spend all day in bed let's see here Like I said, that's kind of the choice between the two. I'm sorry I'm uh, waking up here and I'm reading my notes. Uh, these are cute little bungalows you can kind of cuddle up to inside. It's actually kind of neat. Uh, I'm kind of looking like this. Uh, one important thing is uh, read about your excursions, see what's provided. Uh, I did two excursions. Uh, this ship went to Key West and Cosmo, Mexico. Cosmo in Mexico. So, the first part of it, I took a little train tour. Uh, it was on a like a little, um, and not really a train. It's a little train's got little cars and goes on the street, and they tell you all about Key West, and that was pretty cool. Um, I've taken a hop on and hop off bus when I was there before, and this tour gave me uh, some new things that I didn't know about in different parts of the city, which I thought was really really cool. Um, the other one was Cozumel, and uh, what I'm planning on doing on uh, my next thing when I talk more about cruising, I'll show some pictures and things of uh, my other activity, which was the Secret River. Secret River was amazing. It was about as close as you can get to stalactites and stalagmites. You get to even swim among them in the water, which I thought was amazing. I always thought the water would be freezing cold, but the water was actually very refreshing. But what's really cool is everything is provided for you. So the cool part is you can actually, you know, the wetsuit was provided, the shoes are provided, life jacket was provided, helmet and flashlight were provided, and on top of everything else, um, like I said, you didn't need anything. Uh, they gave you lunch. So read the description, ask the questions. Uh, I wasn't sure about the shoes. I was kind of concerned if I had to buy something else or if they would provide it or would I be returned. Everything was provided, no issues there. Only thing that was not provided is you could not take your own pictures, so I ended up buying a picture package. We had a professional photographer that hung out with us that day, and it was really amazing. Like I said, I'll show you those pictures here when I uh, when I get back. Food. <laughs> All right. So. It's kind of where I saw a lot of differences. I thought that MSC had a little bit better quality food. And then Carnival Carnival's buffet line was okay. Not bad. Not fantastic. Just right down the middle. Okay. What you also get to do is you also get a chance to... You also get a chance to actually... Uh, one day for your supper, you get to meet up at the uh at a little restaurant in on the ship it's like a little better better restaurant in there you have your own choice of menus and each night is something kind of different you get very excellent service i mean hands down waiter knows your name you feel like you're in a five-star restaurant 
and food was really good there too. Here's a ship coming in. This is Freedom of the Seas. Well, the other thing I have to say is, even if you don't, the one thing I would recommend is you do download the app. You don't need Wi-Fi to operate the app, and you're able to actually get all the information what's going on. Uh, there's a schedule. I'll show you all that guys stuff on that uh, on my other podcast. That'll show you all the different videos and, the, and all the different options that you have. I'll show you what the what the app looks like, and it tells you what's going on on the ship every day. Like yesterday was our day at sea, as they call it. So we were coming back. And I spent the whole day, they had like a veterans appreciation thing, which was very, very awesome. Had a nutrition thing in there that I went to. And all sorts of, uh, all sorts of entertainment. Each ship also has like a theater. And each night, or most nights, they have a little activity that goes on out there, which is really cool to watch. The performers are amazing, very talented. And just excellent all around. Like I said again, I'm sorry I'm waking up here. You can look at here, this is the Freedom of the Sea, which is actually a Royal Caribbean. And it looks like there's a few people are there awake, and a lot of people are asleep, just like uh, most of the things on my ship here. So I'm going to walk around, we're going to walk towards the back of the ship now. Uh, got things I do through my head, so towels. You get a towel, you check it out, usually over here, or there's another spot. When you get your towel, you uh, they mark it. You gotta make sure you return it. If it's closed, when that time you return it, you need to let them know that you turn the towel in. If not, you'll be charged 27 bucks. And there's our comedians, you saw them on the screen, I'm not sure. Marvin Todd and Billy D. Williams, who are uh, pretty awesome. Or Billy D. Washington. Uh, great comedians, really enjoy their programs all throughout the week iconic pin back here here's the slide again and I'm about to walk quickly here I don't make sure I don't get a copyright strike on that song here so I'm just gonna walk through here real quick Actually, the entrance to Mr. Food here. We've got bars up here. This shows movies. These little dividers. These get set up and lay out here. Spend all your day in the sun. There's one of the interior doors. You can. Uh, it's a way to get back in. Take the elevator to the floor that you want to. So good morning, Miami, over here. <laughs> There's a couple dividers up here, and we're coming on back to the ship. The big cover back here is the cover that covers the other pool. Back ship, I think, is actually a little better spot. It's a little quieter back here. There's uh, less craziness. It's actually kind of cool to spend a lot of time up here. Go back here. Got the upper deck area again there. We'll go up here on the other side. Here's the way you come out of Miami. You see other ships in the distance here. This 
would be the other pool. I can pin. Ship's going to park. Park in the morning. And I think by the afternoon, they're up and about all over again. This is when we get downstairs, there's a great little pizza joint down there. make this video too long but I do want to give you at least a good coverage of the outside give you an idea what it's like to be on board something like this um, I recommend cruises this is a running track oh um, Something else I'm kind of thinking of, uh, you have an option when you uh, come on board to buy different packages. Those packages including uh, drinks such as soda water, uh, don't recall what that package costs if you want to drink Cokes or Barnable here seems to be Pepsi products. It's not, uh, it's actually extra. They provide you with juice, coffee, so that, uh, and if you want to drink, it's about 60 bucks for alcohol. That depends on how much you actually consume. Uh, for me, 60 bucks a day uh, is a little too much. I don't think I put away $60 of liquor. Uh, drinks are about anything from 11 to, I think about $18 with crew tea charges and stuff like that. So, I'm not sure if that's something that you'd recommend. Or I'd recommend to you. Um, I bought my drinks. I bought you know, usually anywhere from like one to three drinks a night. But, you know, if you want to combine it, like, so $60 a day will buy you unlimited drinks. As far as food, uh, you're fed all the time. You will not go hungry. Uh, you have a couple of choices. Like I said, uh, in the morning, you get an excellent breakfast here. Really good breakfast. Uh, you get omelets and things like that. And then, uh, for lunch, you can choose the buffet line. Or you can choose Guy's Burgers. I've heard of that actually, uh, but the guy seems familiar. And if you guys uh, remember who he is, that would be great if you could let me know. But Guy's Burgers are really, really good too as well. And the last thing that stays open here you know, late at night is the pizza. And of course, again, in the evening, you have a choice of eating at the restaurants, the buffet, uh, pizza, Guy's Burger, or you can go to the restaurant. I recommend the restaurant. I think there's uh, something for everybody at the restaurant so we're gonna walk around real quick here and we're gonna walk downstairs and uh, I think I'll do it for our morning and uh, their little departure over here yeah we'll just take this path down here so you get ports yeah we'll walk up here we'll turn around That amazing view, you can't really beat this. What a morning view. Of course, I have to say, I had a great evening. Some of you guys may know. I was supposed to go with somebody and that didn't work out, so I ended up going by myself. And uh, I I was kind of unsure how I felt about this. This uh, this ship was definitely a lot of couples, but I ended up having a really really good time. Made some new friends. That was pretty amazing. Most couldn't believe how somebody could actually stand somebody up on a cruise. I mean, to turn this down. I mean, this is amazing. Okay, again, this is the lower deck area. So what I might do, we'll see, see how this works out. Might take it down to where I actually stayed.
if there's people or if there's a long wait, I'll just uh, call the video right there. If you have any questions on this, like I said, my channel is all about stuff and things. Questions and issues that come up in everyday life, and I help you resolve them. Cool. Down here is Bob. the bar area here's where you get towels hot tub there's our comedian another bar another tub and let's walk you in and see what it is see what's like over here Get to know your ship, get to know where everything is. It's really cool because everything's got a map, so you can see where all your different events are. Morning. Morning. One thing I love is the atmosphere. This ship, I'm on deck nine, and everything's got a map. Very easy to find. The alternatives are always the stairs. Anybody's here. Cool. Next.